Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to add new ability slots to characters in Frosty Editor for PVC GB2. First, open the gameplay folder, single click input 2, and open Venice Soldier Input Concepts, open Input Action Maps, item 0, open the actions, and I'm going to scroll down and open item 13, look at the name SID, and since the concept identifier says switch to stat gadget, I'm going to make the string that. Copy the name SID, go up to the left hand corner, hit view, localize string editor, add string, paste it there. I'm going to set the new value to ability 4, as it will be the fourth ability in a character kit. And add string. Then go back to Venice Soldier Input Concepts, and it says ability 4 now. Uncheck hide and key bindings, open input actions. And change the key to whatever key you want the ability to be bound to. I'm going to make it left alt, but you can customize it in-game later. Open Venice Soldier Input Mapping. Open Data. Mappings. Scroll down. I'm going to open Item 33. This is also Concept Switch Static Gadget. Copy the Action Identifier. The next thing you'll do is single-click Input. Open Soldier Weapon Switching. Add two items to the switch map, open the switch map, open the first new item you made, and paste the action there. On two weapon, add an item, and set it to WS slot 5. Check the box fire and switch back to prev. Copy this item. Paste it to the second new one you made. Open that up. And I'm going to change from weapon to WS slot 5. Change to weapon back to WS slot 0. And uncheck fire and switch back to prev. Finally, I'll go into kits. Open plant pea shooter. Open weapon table. Add new item to unlock parts. Open unlock parts. Copy the last item. and paste it onto my new one. Open the new item, and I'll change the UI category SID to Ability 4. Then open the selectable unlocks, remove the existing ones, I'm going to go up to this item, open the selectable unlocks, and copy the Dark Bean Bomb Unlock Asset, remove it from that one, add an item to this selectable unlocks, and paste it here. Lastly, I'll change the Weapon Slot from Weapon Slot 3 to Weapon Slot 5. After all that hard work, let's save the project, and I'll call it More Abilities. Let's launch the game to see if Pea Shooter has a fourth ability. Okay, Dark Bean Bomb is there. Let's actually try to use it. And there it is. You can also customize it in the customized control options. I've already set it to 4 off screen. So once again, thanks for watching, and I know you're all hyped for the final tutorial, number 100. Well, I'll tell you, it'll be the biggest and baddest one yet.